Brand, I'm a senior here at U of A Yuma, and uh, I'm going to be talking to you guys about intellectual property and uh, seed patents in particular. So um, when I was first given this card, I didn't really know exactly what I was going to be talking about. I had to do a lot of searching because I had heard the term, but I had never really researched or looked deep into it. So I hope I can share some of the stuff I learned. Um, so to begin, obviously seeds are needed for almost all ag, especially here in the desert southwest. I think the majority of what we do here requires seed since we work with plants. Um, intellectual property is, it's a strong, I guess not theory, but it's a, it's a strong law here in the US, which I think a lot of people kind of take granted for because um, what we have, the laws that protect our, proper, our ideas um, kind of help make uh, new innovation and new ideas and um, it can help uh, it can help uh, really, I guess, create, um, yeah, I guess, new, new innovation. So when I thought of this, I thought right away of uh, Jesse at Syngenta and how he was talking about how some of his ideas were being stolen in China and how a lot of the ideas that, you know, because what they make is so secretive, if ingredients get out before the patent's actually placed, then their, their ideas that they spend millions of dollars and years of time, they can lose that right away. Um, one of the other thoughts was uh, trade secrets. And I guess the biggest example of this is Coca-Cola and how they refuse to give out their recipe because if they give out the recipe and get a patent, they're only safe for five to, 50, or five to 20 years where they just decided to hold on to it and not share it. And that way they're safe as long as no one you know, tells anybody. And so with patents though, or with ag, you have to have patents because normally the stuff that we create has to be known by the public and by the consumers, and so you have to uh, you have to share your information. So, some of the pros that I was thinking of was um, obviously innovation. Um, the pro with the pros, you have lower cost seed, you have a collaboration uh, collaboration with uh, other countries. Uh, one of the things is Monsanto is collaborating with India to create a, a better hybrid cotton seed. So they're now one of the leading producers of cotton in the world. Um, another thing is from Monsanto is they, uh, they put a lot of money in their innovation and uh, they say as much as $2.6 million a day they put in their innovation. And then one of the biggest cons is obviously uh, monopolization. Um, Elizabeth Warren, who's a senator from Massachusetts, she says that four companies produce 85% of the seed, or seed varieties for corn out there. Um, they have, uh, uh, they can possibly increase the pricing and uh, create uh, uh, price fixing scenarios. 